What's happening out there, YouTube? Carla, CNL Small Engine Repair and Lawn Care. Hey, um, show you a little something, something today I got in. A guy brought this Husqvarna in. It's a 48 inch. What, 24? Yeah, 24 horsepower Briggs. So 24 YTH. 24V48. A lot of times, guys, when you look at on the outside of these, especially the Husqvarna's, really do it. Um, the model number, well, I don't guess it'd be the model number, number, <laughs> number on it. But if it says like um, 18542, YTS 18542, that's an 18 and a half horsepower with a 42 inch cut. For this one, you can just look at it and say, okay, this has got a 24 horsepower engine on it, and it's a 48 inch cut. That's what that means. That's not what I wanted to show you. Guy come in today. Well, he dropped this off. Today's Tuesday. He dropped it off <coughs> last Thursday, I think. I'm just now getting it in the shop to even see what's wrong with it. But he said that it was uh, smoking the belt on it. Um, he thought maybe it was his PTO. Luckily, it wasn't his PTO because if you guys have ever priced a PTO, they're about 400 bucks. So, hopefully, gladly, it wasn't that. What it was, one, the deck is uh, grossly out of adjustment. I'll show you here in a minute. I mean, it's just, I'm going to have to readjust the deck. But, um, I took it down there and tried it out there in the field. Um, he, let me turn the camera around. So, guys, see all this laying down in here? See this stuff like this? Hard as concrete. I mean, I'm trying to break it. Dang, here it went. This stuff has been, there it goes. This stuff has been under there so long. And there's, there's just piles of it. You, ain't even see, you can't even see what's underneath the deck. I mean, there's piles and piles and piles and piles of it. That's the importance of cleaning out your mower deck. I'm going to jack this thing up and I'll probably show you a few things under here what has happened um, due to that. Uh, the baffles uh, on, inside the deck um, have been pushed, pushed back because it's just so... And this is one reason that I don't like... How can I say it? I'm not a fan. It's not that I don't like them. I'm not a fan of high lift, the real high lift blades, and uh, I'll show you why. All right, guys. Like I said, I just went down there and mowed with it, so there's some fresh grass under here. But this stuff, here's some of it, was just caked under here. Now, I wish I could back out enough. This piece here goes in front of. Uh, you ain't gonna be able to see that, but there's. A piece that goes all the way around bolts in here comes all the way around the front of the deck right here this gets grass packed behind it something fierce back in here and it's right there on the front of your deck you can kind of tell there but these baffles that's in here you can see like this here all that in there I know it's kind of dark guys sorry but and what these high lift blades do if I wouldn't have cleaned it out, I could have showed it to you real good. If you notice, like these blades here. Oh, I don't think, yeah, they're spinning around. All right, see how high lift this is back in here? Up in here. Now watch when it comes around. If you, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but there is like almost no clearance at all. It pushes your baffles out. This part I was showing you here, it's like a baffle in here. This has all got packed up grass in it, which pushes it in, and there's no clearance really between that and your blades. If you don't have any clearance between your blades, and it's just not the edges like where it's spinning around, it's also the top of the blade. A shallow deck, if you're running a high lift blade and you've got a shallow deck, you got to keep that thing cleaned out. Because if you don't, you know, where the, where the blade kind of curves up like that. It throws all the grass right in the top. All that grass packs up in there. And believe it or not, you get this thing in heavy grass, heavy wet grass, and the grass one is putting strain on the belt and everything, right? Then you get it caught up in the top between the blade and the top of the deck. 
there you go that's why i run gator blades i'm not pushing gator blades on you i don't you know it's up to you but there's a big difference between a gator blade and um a high lift blade you know a gator blade's a motion blade but more or less but it does have some lift to it this deck I guarantee you, I'm gonna drop this thing. I'm gonna show you something on this. This is what you look for when you buy a mower. I guarantee you, this guy's never, I'm not knocking this guy, okay? This guy has never adjusted the deck on this thing since the day he bought it from Lowe's. I bet, as I see, it's got a Lowe's sticker on it. Yep, Lowe's. <laughs> bought it from Lowe's. Okay. One, let me show you what I mean by gross. Gross. Bad, bad. Where's my tape measure? I don't even have to tape measure this. I can look at it and tell. I'm just like, this is terrible, man. This is terrible. So I'm going to readjust his deck. All right. Everybody know, well, no, not everybody, because I've seen some deck adjustment videos on here, man, that were just so wrong. You never make your deck level from front to back. Now, never. You, you want your deck level from left to right, but not from front to back. The front should always be a quarter of an inch to a half inch lower than the rear of the deck. And that, that takes care of a couple problems. Let me explain this right real quick. If, you're, if your deck, this being the front up here, is tilted down just a little bit, the only part that is actually mowing the grass on a blade anyway, if you notice, a blade is only sharpened about three or four inches on the end. It's not sharpened all the way across. So if you set your deck level, what you're doing is you can go, if, if you go to pretty good speed, the front of that blade, because on a residential mower, the uh, FPS is, or well, make it simple, RPMs, or, or blow, blade rotation, is not fast enough to do that. Um, what it does is the flat part of the blade gets in, I was looking for a blade real quick, but the flat part of the blade that's not sharpened is in the grass too, which just robs your power. Now, if you get it too tilted down, then you're still gonna get a bad cut. That guy's a preaching it up, ain't he? Yeah, he is. Um, it, it, it drops the deck down too much in the front, and then you only have like two inches of your blade, the cutting part of your blade in the grass. Again, if you go very fast, or if you're just going at a moderate clip, them blades are not going to cut that grass nice. It's not going to make a good even cut. Now, with this mower, um, a lot, and I see a lot of mowers come in here like that, and I have to readjust the decks. Okay, when, when you pull the handle on a deck all the way up, then it should be all the way up. It shouldn't still be a half inch or an inch from the ground. You should be able to drop this deck into the lowest position. This is how I adjust mine. And I, I ain't saying this is for everybody. This is just how I do mine. I adjust the deck to where I drop it into the lowest position there is. And I'm still inch, inch and a half off the ground. I don't want this thing flat on the ground. It, most people, and, and I'll tell you why. This is another reason. You go around a bush, you go around a tree, something like that on your left-hand side where your uh, height selection is on one of these residential mowers, and you hit that handle. Well, you're mowing at three and a half inches. Now, all of a sudden, you're mowing the dirt. So now you done scalped your lawn down there. Usually, before, oh, what's going on? Oh, well, you done went 10 feet. So this way, even if you do hit a bush and it knocks the handle out of the little holder there, and it drops all the way down, you're still mowing that inch and a half. Surely you can, you know, straighten that out. But uh, let me show you this deck, what I'm talking about being just, I guarantee you, th this, is the, this is what you get when you go to a big box store too, guys. If this was bought at a dealership, the dealership would have adjusted the deck on it. Well, if there's any count, they would have adjusted it. Most of them will, that when they put them together, they put the decks up underneath them. And I mean, it's just standard procedure that you adjust the deck. And that's where kind of, I learned to adjust decks. But anyway, let me show you right real quick. All right, guys, the rear of this deck in the all the way up position is about four and three eighths. The front of it is at two and a half. 
That's too way, 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 way too much drop in the front. Then it's the same on the other side. Look at this other side. If you think that's bad, look at this. This is this side here is even worse. This side is about oh three and a quarter. And this one is at about a half inch. So when you look at how bad that deck is out of adjustment, this guy, you know, it's not his fault, man. He, most homeowners don't know this stuff, guys. This is why, if you're a tech, you're supposed to know this stuff. You are supposed to be an expert. You are supposed to be a pro. You are supposed to know what you're doing. So now I'm going to level this guy's deck up, then cleaned it out, and I'm going to level it up, get it all straightened up, and... Now those those adjustments too was with the handle all the way up. So on the on the passenger side, if you want to call it that, on the right hand side, if you were sitting on the mower, um, if you move that handle down one notch, you're in the dirt on that one side. So you can imagine trying to cut wet, heavy grass, and this thing's just how high, high on one side, low on the other, too much tilt in the front. You know, off, it's just, it's just a mess. But anyway, we get her straightened out. Um, I think I made a video on how I adjust decks, so I'm not going to go into all that. Um, you can watch the video, but what I like to do is take a two before, because a two before is really like an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, something like that, thick. Put it in the front and, and set your deck down on it, and then tighten your bolts on the side. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, let me get my tripod and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, you can really see it. Plus, I didn't think of it at the time. I had it on the right. So that added another half inch to the front and took a half inch off the back. This is how I do it. On the back, take your two before. Lay it across there. I'm just going to be a real quickie. Drop this. See, it, it won't even go all the way down. It'll only go to right there. Um, on the two before. So... This really needs some adjustment. But what I'll do is I'll come in here, right there on these adjustments, and adjust that right there. But it looks like it's just about as high up as it's going to go on that one. That is ridiculous. Let me see something here. That's what I mean, guys. When you go to the dealership, I mean, to Lowe's or something like that, they don't care about your machine. There, now that's set all the way down on the ground. So I'll have to adjust each side until they're level. It's also got the same hanger on this side. So they've got them tightened all the way up. What they've done, they've neglected to do the front on this one is what it is. So anyway, guys, take you a two before. All right, guys, you can really see it. Plus, I didn't think of it at the time. I had it on the right. So that added another half inch to the front and took a half inch off the back. This is how I do it. On the back, take your two before. Lay it across there. I'm just gonna be a real quickie. Drop this, see, it, it won't even go all the way down. It'll only go to right there. Um, on the two before. So, this really needs some adjustment. But what I'll do is I'll come in here, right there on these adjustments, and adjust that right there. But it looks like it's just about as high up as it's going to go on that one. That is ridiculous. Let me see something here. That's what I mean, guys. When you go to the dealership, I mean, to Lowe's or something like that, they don't care about your machine. There, now that's set all the way down on the ground. So I'll have to adjust each side until they're level. It's also got the same hanger on this side. They've got them tightened all the way up. What they've done, they've neglected to do the front on this one is what it is. So, anyway guys, take you a two before. Lay it in the back. Try to drop that deck all the way down. Now this one ain't going to go all the way down because it's out of adjustment. I mean, it's just, there's no adjustment left to, to adjust it. Put your two before across the back. Measure your two before, how thick it is drop it all the way down because that way you see you're still back there now you got to take into consideration that your blades 
are recessed inside the deck. They're not even with the bottom of the deck. They're about usually about a half inch, quarter to a half inch inside the deck. So you gotta take that into consideration. You have to play with that if you're a homeowner and however you want to you cut your grass. Um, but I'm gonna tighten all these up, make sure they're all tight. Then I'm gonna pull the front of this thing up. And there's a rod that runs in the front of it. See if you can see it under there. Runs to the front of the deck right here. Oh, right there. Sorry, you couldn't, probably couldn't see it. But anyway, take the nut. And as you tighten that up, it's going to pull that deck. It's going to lift that deck too. And that's what's that's what's bad on this one. That's why it's so far bad in the front. And of course, I don't know. I'm going to have to get under there and look and see what's going on because one side is like two inches higher or an inch higher than the other side and all the adjustments is is done um the threads are all the way up so i the, the the adjuster's all the way up on the threads so i'm gonna have to take a look at that guys but i'll be back in a bit show you now got the deck adjusted the rods all the way up look the guy even has some He's got some options now how high he wants to cut his grass so and if you take the measure I'll do that for you right real quick the back of it is about three and a half so he's gonna be cutting at four inches and the front let me show that gunk out of the way is at three so, that, there's a rod, there's a rod under the front, here let me show you right real quick, there's a rod under the front of this thing, and this rod, if you take your adjusters and adjust them all the way up in the back, it's a little cheat, just make it quick, see that rod right there, and you pull that rod forward, you're going to tighten this bolt up. I use my impact gun. I jack it up just like this right here. And I pull it up as far as it'll go. And then I start backing it off. Until I get it right. Now you do have to set it down and pick it up. Set it down and pick it up a few times. But this nut, when I got under there, was all the way out to the end. That's why the front of it was in the dirt. And it was just letting it do this. It wasn't tight. This kind of keeps tension pulled back against it too. So, Some lawnmower deck maintenance, guys. Also, that rod there is supposed to have a jam nut on it, pretty sure. Not all of them do, but I'm gonna find a nut and put a jam nut on it so it won't work loose. About all of them I've ever seen has had a jam nut, jam nut on it, so Let's see if I ain't got one around here on an old tractor somewhere. But guys, it's important <coughs> to keep all that adjusted. <coughs> The fumes in here is ridiculous. <clears throat> How I opened the windows up this morning, getting it blowed out, but uh, that's why the fan's running too. But anyway, um, always make sure that your deck is level from left to right. And like I said, the easiest way to do that is just like what they done on this tractor. Tighten your rear uh, supports up until they bottom out. And then just adjust your front one. Um, then you pretty much got it, but a quarter of an inch to a half inch tilt in the front, man, you'll be mowing. And clean these things out. You know, I think the new ones, I don't think this one's got a, a deck port um, for a hose that so you can put water on and clean it out. No, it don't. But the new ones have those, a lot of them. Now, if you're going to clean it out with the water hose and turn the blades on, I mean, I'm sure if you've got a mower, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you need to find you a flat board. Now, I use a lot of times uh, for the ones that come in here because I do it. Um, not on my mowers. Usually, once a week, I'm scraping the decks out from underneath my mowers uh, just where we do the lawn care. But um, when customers come in like this one here, I've got a 4x8 sheet of plow board out there, treated plywood, 3 quarter inch. And I will pull this thing up on it. I will drop the deck all the way down on, on, on top of it, flat on it not this one but hook the hose up to it start it up turn the blades on let's sit there and run about five minutes that's how i clean a lot of the decks that come in here um i've got a pressure washer and all that but man <laughs> that's messy when you 
you, you get up underneath a mower, man, with a pressure washer or something like that, that's just ridiculous. I, I've known guys to do it now. The dealership um, that I used to work at, we had a wash bay, and they had uh, a, a pipe laid across the ground with holes drilled in it and with nozzles, just like pressure washer nozzles. <coughs> Let me step outside, guys. I'm choking to death here. But anyway, um, and they would just ride the mower or push it across it real slow, and it would clean out underneath the deck, and the guys would be up there with pressure washer because most time in these dealerships, man, the one I worked at, we didn't work on dirty, filthy equipment. Just the dudes out in the wash bay, you know, the guys that unloaded the trucks and loaded the trucks, um, they'd bring them in and pressure wash them all down a lot of times you know uh, unless it was engine trouble uh they would do all your oil changes and stuff like that and your techs we just done we just done the repairs man i mean we fixed the stuff but we had some guys and they were you know a lot of times they'd be you know novice guys it was just starting out they wanted to get into the business learn to be a tech and if you're gonna learn to be a tech a lot of these dealerships you're gonna start off in a wash bay somewhere man and i you're going to start off greasing them, changing the oil, filters, plugs, and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of times we would do the repairs on an engine. Um, say I had to rebuild an engine. I'd rebuild the engine, put it on the on the mower, and then the other guys, you know, I would, of course, have the oil in it. But they'd go by and grease it, sharpen the blades, maybe change a belt. You know, little stuff like that is what they do. But anyway, guys, back to deck maintenance. Take care of your deck. It'll take care of you. You let these decks go to fall apart, man, you're going to be replacing belts, spindles, they get hot. Keep the trash off the top of the deck, all the grass clippings and stuff like that, and, it, and keep it greased, and you should be good for a long time. Hey, until next time, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God or it's not worth doing. See you nails out.